What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman, and in today's Daily Fix, Xbox fires back on criticism of Halo Infinite's graphics, Infinite's public beta may not be happening, and a G4 tease seems to herald a resurrection of the gaming channel in some way or another. Roll the thing! You all love your graphics, and it shows. Xbox revealed some Halo Infinite gameplay yesterday, and many fans were critical of the demo's graphics. Xbox's response was surprisingly swift. In an interview with Inside Gaming, Xbox's GM of Marketing, Aaron Greenberg, said, quote, Listen, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. It's July. We're far from launch and holiday. You're seeing a work in progress game. He went on to say that the quality of the stream itself may also have played a part in fans' reaction to Infinite's graphics. Pointing to the 1080p stream, while the VOD version can be viewed in 4K 60 on the Halo YouTube channel or even right here at IGN or on IGN's YouTube channel. But fan criticism wasn't only about resolution. Many folks called out flat lighting and low resolution textures in official screenshots. But Greenberg tried to assuage those concerns, saying, quote, it is a work in progress. I can tell you because we see build check-ins every week and they make progress week after week. So between now and holiday, it's just going to get better and better. When asked about fans questioning what hardware was used to run the demo because the game is coming to Xbox One, PC, and Series X, 343 told PC Games N that the footage was, quote, captured from a PC that is representative of the experience that players will have on Xbox Series X. Personally, I don't need every game to look like it's happening IRL. I'm currently playing Ghost of Tsushima, and that game looks incredible. I appreciate its graphics immensely, but I can also get down with Animal Crossing and many other games with art styles that aren't necessarily trying to mimic real life, so the Halo graphics didn't bother me in the slightest. But I'm someone who was playing with an RX 570 graphics card in my PC up until a few months ago when I finally upgraded to a 1070. But it is a demo, and as Greenberg said, a work in progress. If you thought getting your hands on Halo during a public beta might ease some of those concerns, don't count your Chiefs before they've mastered. In 2018, 343 said it planned to have an early flighting program for Infinite that would be similar to the early test for Halo the Master Chief Collection. However, plans had to change. Halo Infinite studio head Chris Lee said, quote, with Halo Infinite, we are also committed to building the game in partnership with our community. But given the unprecedented challenges of this year, we're not quite where we expect it to be in terms of broader public flighting. Lee's statement also said, quote, while not the full program we had envisioned, we have been working very closely with the community on nearly every facet of the project. Lee says that the team, quote, is still working and assessing options for broader hands-on opportunities before launch. And that 343 Industries will be sharing updates about potential public flights when they can. Finally, Lee goes out of his way to make clear that, quote, this process doesn't stop with launch. In fact, in many ways, feedback and community flighting will be even more important after launch as we partner together to continually evolve and update the game into the future. This is in line with 343's plans to have Halo Infinite serve as a storytelling platform for the future of the title, rather than another chapter in a growing series. Finally, G4, the gamer-focused TV network that both aired and went the way of cops in 2014, is back in some form. A teaser debuted during IGN's Comic-Con at home, taking the viewer through an Indiana Jones-esque warehouse filled with items referencing running jokes from the network's shows before landing on an old 80s-style CRT TV playing a game of Pong. The game, which was both the first and last thing ever aired by the network, is interrupted by an incoming transmission, followed by the G4 logo and finally the year 2021. How we actually get to experience G4 is still unclear, but the teaser focusing on a TV could hint at a return to the small screen. Or the flat screen. I don't know your situation. Stick around for more info about the return of G4 in the future. And that's Daily Fix. I'm Cindy Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. I don't know what's going on with my hands. Now that you're all caught up in the news, check out the latest episode of Next Gen Console Watch, where we discuss if the Xbox Games Showcase really delivered. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Check back Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific for the glorious return of news, games, and more, our daily live news show. Have a tasty snack today, and don't forget your mask when you go outside. Iron Man doesn't. Subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat for all things everything else, IGN.com. Party on, dude. Summer is here, and with it, the biggest show in entertainment, Comic-Con. And this year, it's on IGN. Starting July 22nd, IGN is giving you a front row seat to the geekiest celebrity panels. Oh, I love this show. <laughs> the coolest merch. 
the latest trailers, and the biggest reveals from across the world of movies, TV, and comics. Whoa. Catch all five days of Comic-Con at home on IGN and IGN1 on Samsung TV+.